Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of the All Around Growth Podcast. My name is Rob Kaiser, and I am your host. Today is Wednesday, May 18th, 2022, and this is episode number 351 of a show that provides insight and tools to build the life and homestead of your dreams. And since it is a Wednesday, we've got a Wild Card Wednesday show, a show of choice, and today's topic is going to be self-employment. Yep, we are going to talk self-employment. I am technically on day five of self-employment, and today we're gonna talk about why I'm journaling on self-employment, how this factors into new daily routines, new daily routines that I am developing during the self-employment process, the experiences to date. And even though it's only day five, there's a lot that has happened since Friday. So let's get right into it. Um, I am going to share a bit of what I wrote last night. This will provide some insight into where I'm at this morning. And I will also share the experiences of this morning with you since those are some experiences to date. Okay, so I guess why I decided to journal on self-employment, first of all, is quite simple. I am journaling in a number of other, uh, or for a number of other facets in life, right? Things that are important to me. I'm utilizing the self-authoring program to write my autobiography and help plan out, effectively plan out, that is, the next stage of life. And as I've gone through this process of functional medicine with the Cleveland Clinic and worked in conjunction with the behavioral health therapist, I have been encouraged to journal about the various things that challenge me, if you will, for lack of a better term. So I have, uh, I've journaled about my career. I've journaled about my spiritual path. I've journaled about relationships. And now I'm journaling about self-employment. This factors into my daily routines because, well, I've got more time available, or at least it seemed that way, Monday and yesterday, Tuesday, because those were two days that I decided to take a little bit of a break and decompress, if you will, before jumping into work today. At least that was the plan. And before I get into talking about work today, I'll save that for experiences to date. And um, like I said, I'll, I'll go back and, and reference some of what I wrote last night because last night was day four. And uh, I wrote this in the evening. Now, um, I'm reluctant to actually read this. That was the plan this morning, but as of this morning, plans changed. So I'm just going to wing this because due to the fact that plans have changed, I'm going to adjust my plans for the show this morning and basically do what I talked about in the article I wrote that was published on Men of Order recently, which was step six of six steps to succeed in the Great Resignation. Step six is adapt, improvise, and overcome. And that's what I've got to do today because I misunderstood plans that I made with Mike, the guy who cuts our grass here, the guy who is offered to work with me and partner with me to a a certain extent. So before I get into the misunderstanding with Mike, I think it's worth pointing out that when I started journaling, it was Monday, right? Two days ago, Monday the 16th. 
And then as I sat down to journal and work through my goals yesterday, I realized that that wasn't actually day two of self-employment. Day one of self-employment was actually Saturday. Saturday at the farmer's market, the Medina Square Farmer's Market. I mean, consistently since February, I've been working six day weeks. And um, the reality is I've been working six day weeks since February when the indoor market began at Richardson Farms. And working the indoor market at Richardson Farms uh, forced me to alter my plans or my goals for what we were doing here on the homestead and how I was working in the barn my family plans, if you will, for the first quarter, second quarter. So uh, those plans were vague and, and not, not real solid in the first, not vague. I mean, they were very clear, but it wasn't that much work. I was just going to install some shelving inside the barn on the wall uh, of the commercial kitchen that we just built. And uh, that way we can just be better organized in the barn and take advantage of the space out there and make better use of it. Um, the invitation to participate in that indoor winter spring market at Richardson's just accelerated the time frame of the plans that I made for 2022, which was simply spend time with my family working at the market. Now, since my uh, career goals have also changed and I find myself self-employed, it was time to realign my goals. This was something I'd been delaying. I have yet to identify my Q2 goals. I've yet to identify my May goals. I didn't even work on April goals. Things got a little weird with the way my career went. Um, over the past uh, month or so. Now, like I said, I was writing a lot of this yesterday and thinking about how yesterday, Tuesday, was day two of my you know, relaxing days before hitting the grind tomorrow and working full time. Now, working full time and engaging in the grind today originally was going to be me working with Mike, who, um, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself again. You know, like I said, day one of self-employment was at the farmer's market Saturday and experiencing a great day at the farmer's market and then being invited out to dinner with the guys that I'd worked with at Davis Tree Farm and then um, making another connection with someone who might have some work available for me at that time. Sunday was spent with family, downtime, relaxing, because next Sunday is a meeting at church, um, the annual meeting, and uh, I definitely need to attend there uh, since I will also apparently be experiencing a change of uh, my life within the, the, the role serving the church. I resigned my role as treasurer recently and uh, instead of filling out or completing my current term to the end of the year, it looks like there will be a new treasurer stepping in effective immediately taking over or being installed or whatever you want to call it on Sunday where the congregation will vote in new members of the council. And, uh, and that's it. So, um, originally, I guess that, 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 that brings us to today. Basically I did some just real relaxing on Monday, did some work around the homestead yesterday moved some logs, moved some sticks, cut some grass, did some things, uh, got out, got active, and that felt good. 
slept well. And in my attempts at working through uh, what I was going to be doing today, this week, I was under the impression that, and again, a lot of this went back and forth via text, that I was not going to be working with Mike today, that he was going to just mow all day and that he was looking for my help on Thursday and Friday, spreading mulch, moving stone, doing this and that. Um, because I've been in this routine where I shut my phone off early in the evenings and I don't look at it until well after I wake up in the morning, um, this is going to have to change. I'm going to have to adjust how I look at my devices and how I work um, because I missed his call last night. He worked late and I guess he was, um, there was a delayed response from him regarding my inquiry on what we're doing today. And because I felt as though I wasn't going to have the ability to work today, or at least work in the way that I expected with Mike, I went ahead and offered a hand to Cody and said that I'm available to work. Now, one thing that I want to share with you, and um, this is a quote from Earl Nightingale, and it's a quote that I included in the article, Six Steps to Succeed in the Great Resignation. And I'll link to this article and a lot of what I talked about in the show notes today. But the reason I reached out to Cody was uh, I, I, I wanted to work. And even though I knew that I was going to get money uh, and, and earn money, with Mike, rather, my understanding was that we weren't going to work today, but I wanted to do work because that was what I had planned on. So I'm going to work, you know, a minimum of 40 hours a week, even if I'm not working for or with someone else. I will be working on the 48 days book. And I think, you know, oh, the quote, and I'll get to the 48 days thing here in a second. And this is, this is interesting. But the reason I decided just to pull the trigger and tell Cody, hey, things didn't really work out with Mike the way I was expecting for Wednesday. I'm available to help you. So in uh, around nine o'clock, I will be working with Cody transplanting and I am fully prepared to have my ass kicked because this is going to be difficult because I'm feeling it a little bit just after a few hours of work yesterday. So I'm going to really get into it today and depending on how the day goes, I might be calling Mike to do some string trimming and blowing and just clean up work for him. That was what he was hoping I was going to do today. There was a misunderstanding on my part. I overcommitted and I gave Cody my word, so it looks like I will be working with uh, Cody today, and should that not really work out as expected, I'll be working with Mike. But the quote that I wanted to share with you, and why I was so drawn to work with Cody, and then stick to my word, even after kind of hashing this out with a conversation and realizing that there was a misunderstanding on my part, I gave Cody my word. I told him that I would work. He counted on that. And we, by the time I had coordinated and arranged this with Cody, I realized that I'd made a mistake with Mike. Mike's been working since 7 a.m. this morning. And the reality is um, I, I had to tell Mike no because I gave Cody my word. And the reason I gave Cody my word is, is, is due to a simple quote from Earl Nightingale, which reads as follows. Don't concern yourself with the money. Be of service. Build. 
work, dream, create. Do this and you'll find there is no limit to the prosperity and abundance that will come to you. Be of service. The reality is, guys, I fucked up. I made a mistake this morning, or I made a mistake yesterday in the coordination with Mike. Mike is giving me a great opportunity, but he's busy as hell. I guess I failed to follow through with him in coordinating for what we were going to do today. And that's a lesson learned. I will just not, I will have to coordinate better moving forward and figure out how this works in this world of self-employment. Now, one other thing um, that, uh, that, that, that was noteworthy in my writing of yesterday, and you know, I mean, we've covered why we, I'm journaling on self-employment and how this factors into new routines. And I was telling Mike this morning on the phone that my routines may have to change in terms of how I look at my phone how I look at my devices, and I may have to use my phone as a communication tool and less in the ways that I did by removing social media apps and things like that and working off social media strictly from my computer because uh, oftentimes when I look at my phone, I get distracted, but I'm going to have to look at my phone in terms of a communication tool late in the evening and earlier in the morning because I can't maintain the same routine that I can, that I did, at least in this transition phase when I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing next. So, you know, I've had some good experiences. First day of self-employment was farmer's market and then another networking opportunity over dinner with Nate that evening, a friend of Leonel's. Sunday, Monday, relaxing, playing catch up on a lot of personal things, doing a lot of writing, working on a website and I am I have finally taken action to work on the all around growth website so there will be some progress to be announced soon but we'll see what kind of progress comes with that as things develop with this whole thing of self-employment so guys that's it it's day five today and the final thing I'm gonna share was what I realized yesterday as I was thinking about, okay, is it really day four, day two? Where am I at with this whole self-employment journey? Like I said, I was working on goals yesterday for you know, revising my 2022 goals, or actually not so much revising them, but looking at the specific, measurable, actionable goals that I can make and and actions that I can take in order to succeed and achieve the goals that I set for 2022. Now I've been working on this by setting goals each quarter and then evaluating them at the end of the quarter. I've yet to set them for the second quarter and we've got five weeks remaining. So yesterday in doing all the math, I wondered, well, how many days exactly? And it looked like yesterday there were about 45 days. You know, a quick internet search showed that there were 45 days remaining. So I did the math backwards and it looked like my first day of self-employment on Saturday, May 14th, was actually 48 days prior to the end of the second quarter. So my plan, my career goal specifically was at the beginning of the year, my career goals for the new year were utilizing proactive communication to achieve one of two results for the 2022 season. One, a significant change in perspective or mindset through proactive communication, or two, quit, seeing as I've exhausted all resources available to me and execute the plan as identified in the 48 days book and in order to do that i needed to return to gazelle intensity with baby steps to prepare for this because i told myself make it happen you are worth it 
and your family is worth it. So with guys, guys, if with your goals, whether they're career goals, social goals, spiritual goals, family goals, personal development goals, physical goals, or financial goals, take action on your goals and make it happen. You are worth it and your family is worth it. That's why we're doing the things that we're doing. For the sake of our children and our children's children, future generations. I don't think it's any coincidence that the timing aligned 48 days until the end of the quarter on day one of being self-employed when my whole plan is to read and execute 48 days to the work you love and on this 20th edition 48 days to the work and life you love I don't know guys I have a hard time making sense of it all but I'm not here to make sense of it all. I'm just here to share my experiences with you and communicate with everyone in the community that's being formed as a result of this show. Um, that's it. Just giving back what was so freely given to me because podcasts have been a big part of my life as I've been going through life trying to make the changes that I'm trying to make. There have been people out there saying something that resonated deeply with me and it's my hope that the experiences that I have in my life shared with you resonate in the same way that those experiences did with me and it's my hope that this can inspire and motivate you through the hard times in your life in the same way that it did with me. So guys, if you find that it is and you like the show, I would encourage you to check out the show notes and spread the word on social media. Stay tuned for other episodes in the future. For example, tomorrow we've got an Old Farmer's Almanac episode coming up where we'll take a look at the Daily Almanac and just talk all things farm and homestead with regard to the Farmer's Almanac. And who knows, the structure of the show may change as time goes on. There may be more wild card days, but for now, we're just going to stick with the structure of the show as it is, with Mondays being a men of order, our motivational Monday, Tuesday, talking about the top 10 trending Twitter topics, Wednesday being a wild card day, which may focus wholly on self-employment moving forward. Thursday will be an Old Farmer's Almanac Day, and Friday will be an Audience Feedback Day. Um, stay tuned for what the future's got in store, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in to the show, accompanying me on this journey, co-creating life with me. And if you want to participate in the uh, community with us, the best place to do that right now is t.me slash all around growth. That is where we are most active. And if you want to connect on other platforms and share the show on the social media platforms where we are, you can find us on MeWe, Twitter, Float, and Facebook. And so guys, that's it for today. I look forward to catching you tomorrow. This is Rob Kaiser, and thank you.
You're an 